What's uh, up, bro? I'm drinking my uh, cold brew mocha. It's a mocha. Oh, it's a mocha? They put a little chocolate in there? Yeah, it takes them 24 hours to make. See? That's a lie. You know me, when it comes to artisanship, if you show me the difference between the grain of wood on something, if you say this is good, but this is really good. It's like this guy showed me the difference between Pavarotti and then Pavarotti, the great opera singer. I was like, he sings well. He goes, yeah, but you don't know. Listen to this. And he played me this other guy. The blind guy? Who's Nah, it was a guy who, if you're the real aficionado of opera, and I didn't know the difference, but I was like, there is a difference. I was like, there's oh, a difference. I'll buy into it. Dude, you know, I like it's, funny you say, it's funny you say that. Yeah. Because I got to get rid of the monster truck, right? Because that truck... Well, excuse me. Why anyone let me buy that? I have no idea. Oh. Where were you on that one? I don't know. So, I don't. It's too big. It's too it's big. Too big. Uh, store. I've learned that you have to learn the hard. You way. have to go. Yeah, you have to go big and then learn the hard way. I learned I everything the hard way because you're the most stubborn person. Like, there's no way anybody's telling you what to do until you go. Oh, this isn't. I'm trying to back this. Papa needs I, to learn. I got. I can't get this through the two. Learn. Well, yeah. the Tommy store went, dude. We love you, but you can't park in lot anymore because your car takes up three spots. And we can't get it. We can't get you out. It's just too so you big. can't go there. So I went, all right, I'll just Uber at the store now. Improv, dude. We can't valet. It takes up too much. Laugh factor, dude. We just we have. I'm like, all right, here. Uh, is there any way you can't just drive the Ferrari? Because when you bring the Raptor, it blocks everyone. I went, oh yeah. Well, I can't drive it anywhere because it's a monster truck in L.A., Brendan. Yeah. And you're a moron, <laughs> so that's not going to work. So you got to get rid of it. <laughs> well, so so also I, you have the two tires in the back. Oh yeah, because I'm going to off road. Because I'm going to off road. I know. The first I of like, never. Right. I, so that thing, you know that thing, the, the guy. The I, guy I was shocked. It, but, it's hilarious. But I don't know cars, and I know you're a nut, nut for it, so I just have I to I just go. want the, the bo most beastie Raptor yeah, I could get. Yeah, right. So I got beastie that. Beastie Raptor. The guy who had it before me goes, yeah, so the shocks on this, man, you're gonna, you can go Baja if you want. You jump out rocks. And I went, yeah, no doubt. Probably the only thing that's going to go over is a speed bump on fucking Laurel Canyon. Yeah, and he goes, at really? the speed limit. And he, at it, the speed limit you're supposed to go. Yeah, and he goes, really? Yeah. And I see him go, that's a shame. <laughs> And I was like, ah, whatever, dude. He was right. That thing's not going to fit in my lifestyle in LA. So I get rid of it. So yesterday, I, was, uh, I need a dad ride. It yeah. Fries now, how do you get rid of that? You sell that? Uh, that thing is sell like hotcakes. It will? Oh, yeah. The color, the combo, everything that I paid for. Under, yeah, that thing's going to be fine. Okay. I got my guy, Greg, right? He's a yeah, monster. Yeah, yeah, so. so we already have four bids on it. So I was yesterday, I went with Greg to go drive uh, other dad cars. And this is to your point where you're saying the difference between things. So yeah. He takes me and it's called a GT. It's a four door GT Mercedes. Uh -huh. And they used to only have two doors, but they have four doors now. It's like the ultimate dad car. Bring that up. So it's a Mercedes GT four door, but it's the GTS, right? Oh. It's the GTS oh, it's a nice hatchback. Car. So it's a mo for it's like, I don't know, 700 horsepower. Oh my God. So, so, but it's a monster AMG, right? That's it. That's the exact one I test drove, the GTS. So I go. What's the price? They tell me. I go, what's monthly bill? Okay, can write off, blah, blah, blah. And I go, well, I don't need the ass. I don't need the ass. And the, and the guy, uh, Greg goes, yeah, I mean, you'll be able to feel the difference. I go, no, I won't be able to feel the difference. Man. He goes, well, and he starts going the engineering of the this ass. This is the and problem. The, and the, the, the steering <laughs> and wheel. And he can't do that to you. And can't it, do that to you because you go, oh. Well, don't put me in that first, No, bro. don't put me in that first because then the other thing drives like well, a fucking Well, he goes, you jalopy. can get in. I get on it. Well, now I'm sad. Ah! I mean, how much? Because your payment would probably be half went. It's just not. I'll be sad. I'll be thinking about that one the whole time. So yeah, reconsider everything. Ah! But it, it's true, man. When you the quality. That's why you know you make fun of me with Ferraris or my no, shoes the, or something the like difference. that. I know. What these? These? Hold on. Now listen. Wait, are we making the transition out of those? Well, shoes? Well, no. This is the same thing. They dude. do have. Can I be honest? Let me just stop for a second. They have small fins on the back. So are you? Are you? Who is the guy who is it? Flash. Are you Flash? But there's another, there's a god. Flash just dick in your Who's face. Who's the god, the Greek god with wings on his feet? Achilles. Hermes? Hermes. Hermes. You're, are you Husky Hermes? I'm the thick Hermes. You're thick Hermes. You're Husky Hermes. The Hermes clothing. Because hey. those things have, those things, they, you look like you're wearing mini Porsches. And ooh, I'll take that. But listen to this, dude. This designer, his yeah. name's Jun Takahashi. Yep, his Jun, name is Jun, Taka Jun Takahashi. Takahashi. Yep. Check it out. Jun Takahashi. He went against the government in Japan, right? Yeah. So he's one of the, uh, these are undercover collab. So Jun Takahashi yeah, went Takahashi. against the, uh, oh, it's in China. I'm sorry, in China. Nike pulled off his shoe. Hold on. So he's one of the top designers, but because he went against the government, China 
You can't sell his shit well, he's, anymore. The, Takahashi is Japanese. So Japanese, I don't know. but but they pulled like he went against the government. Oh no, he does, he, he spoke supported out. the Hong Kong protests. So they he they, the Hong Kong so they pulled all his collabs. Ooh. Well, Papa fa- got news from the underground. So, so these are hard to get. So, so Papa went ahead and bought them. They won't sell his shoes in China. Ooh, <laughs> what are those? Hollow at <laughs> your boy fuck? undercover <laughs> underscore lab. Now um, you can you can go fuck off with those shoes also because I don't care. But but what do you like about them so much, dude? It's you, just just because you look like Flash, eff- dude. The effort and the quality that mm. went into these shoes, not, not quality. It's but same effort. with your coffee and everything, dude. Because yeah. if you compare these to a regular pair of like Cortez or something like that or running shoes, yeah, dude. What are we doing? Really? It's like driving that other car. All right, so. Are you, you make go, fun of me? Are you gonna go with the F, S? Can you please not do the S? Can you please save the money? It's half as much. Well, not exactly half, but, but it's a lot of savings. I mean, are you gonna? So you're gonna be in traffic, sir. You know this, right? I'm really not, though. Be but 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 you are. But I take are. T- I take Topanga, and then mm-hmm. also, but I, that that's a dad car. So I take Topanga. That's not a dad car. That's 700 horsepower. Please stop calling. What's well, the dad biggest car. dad car of all time? But it's not a dad car, right? It is dad. though, because I'm a dad but my know, kid's gonna but, be in the back it's not a dad car because the inside's crazy yeah that guy's dude. driving it with a helmet so it's, it's not a dad car well no he could be a dad no he might be a father no see i'm gonna have to i have to no see i have to stop here because you the dad it's car with dad be, car man why don't you do this will you please try will you please That's me revving the engine. test drive please test drive a tesla i will the punch tesla you in the SUV. dick no, no, I can't. The fucking ninety. It looks it's like so shit. Fast. It looks like shit. It does nothing for it, me. It, bring that Tesla, dude. I guarantee you, if you get in this GT four door AMG GTS and the engine, Tesla wait, goes, has better. Kah, 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 kah. Tesla has better fucking pickup. No, it's electric. It doesn't do anything for me, dude. dude that doesn't get my dick hard. Just dude, Tesla, Tesla SUV, and then also typing gay at the end. <laughs> dude, please though. The thing th- you're telling me, the thing's sexy. Look, is that thing sexy in any facet? I love. Does it. that do anything Look at those for anybody? Doors, dude. <whistles> you make fun of my shoes, and you sell me on this station. They go wagon with your shoes, with dude. wings. They go with your shoes. Come on, you know that thing's not sexy compared to the what I was just looking at. You, you know what it is. The problem is you need you need. Ah, oh, dude. Because that you know what happened? I love to drive. You, dude. You, you started your Ferrari up yesterday, and you know that I. I mean, I jumped. I jumped. I went. Oh, it went. It went. Boom, I went oh. I jumped. I, I I jumped with fright. Oh, and Daddy's getting new exhaust on that tomorrow. Ah, oh, come on, please, Daddy. Please has don't to. soup up your Ferrari. Please Daddy don't. Daddy has. That's to. that Ferrari. Your guy told me that he needs to have somebody come to teach you how to drive it. Oh, we've been through that because it's so it's it's such a monster, it's and they don't make monster. it anymore. Yeah, I know. Please don't soup it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Please don't. How was uh? How was stand up on the spot last night? It was awesome. I did um. I I did a. You're made for that. I feel. I like. did a story about street fighting in French. That's hilarious. And they they really liked it. I go. Anybody speak French? No. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I did this whole story about and I and I. You know the great thing about stand up on the spot is you come up with bits. Like it, it gave me a really good did idea. Did you record it? I was recording. No, but I, I in my mind I know what to do now. But uh, you know what I'll do is uh, I'll record it. But then in the back, Jeremiah go, dude, you should think about this, this, and this. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Who it was you, Rogan, Rogan, me, Rogan, um, Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld. Who yeah, else? Yeah, may as well, right? Um, Jeremiah. Who else? I don't know. I don't even know. Pete one, the girl from uh, one of the girls, Christina from the podcast. Guys, we fucked. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Her. Interesting, I don't know her. buddy. Uh, it was fun though. It was fun. Oh, you saw our. Uh, it was fun though. Yeah. You uh, you saw our buddy uh, Rockold. He's in town. I saw Luke. How's yep. he doing, buddy? Uh, he's got some problems with his uh, jaw, but he's going to get It's broke, fixed. but he's okay. He's broke it before? I don't think he's ever broken before. No? No. I think he's... Uh, broken heart? Yeah. Broken yeah. heart. Well, I think... No, I think he's in a good place in terms Is he? Of, I do. I think he's in a good place in terms of... Uh, you know he's he's got there's, he's got a lot of options like we were talking about. Yeah, man, it's not a sad story. Yeah, it's a, and he's done everything he had to do in the in the UFC. Yeah, I told you, he's a Hall of Famer. There's nothing yeah. else for him to do. If he wants right. to stick around, fight at 205, he can do that, and yeah. I think it'll be successful. That'll, that'll be that'll be, be all his to. his choice. I have no idea, but he, yeah, he, he, main thing is just to get some stuff. You know, he's, he's his so he's out here just chilling, recovering. Yeah, you know, it's interesting is you you have been there, seventeen fights and. 75 to count my uh, ultimate fighter, it'd be 20, then uh, 24. Yeah, 24 total. A lot of fights. 24. A lot of fights to have. 
I, I, I forgot. I didn't know you were that extensive, but I guess you did fight for eight years. A oh, while. Wow. I mean, that's a long time. So yeah. when you are intimately involved in something, you know, you can see things that other people don't just because you've been there. And you can see the subtleties and the nuances and, and the mindset. And uh, I think you were, how old were you when you, uh, when you were contemplating retirement? I retired my last fight was 13. Yeah. So that'd be... That'd be what six years ago, and then but it happened before that. So you're talking about damn near seven and a half years, almost eight years is when I started thinking about it. Then yeah. I did it legitimately six years ago. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't want to speak for Luke. I don't know I, what's I, in his head, but but uh, you don't have to. I yeah. know to a T. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. When, when I, I just know. Yeah. I that's just, the one advantage I have over all. And I'm not a journalist, but all you know when I do below the belt, the one advantage I have over all of them is I've Mindset. been in there. Mindset. I've been in there. I know exactly huge, what they're going through. Huge advantage. Experience. Yes. So in the actual field, do you want to listen to a guy who, also, listen, who studies war? Or do you want to talk about the guy who's on the battlefield? Who's on the battlefield. And also the guy who succeeded and failed, who's gotten knocked out, has knocked out, has done all these things. I beat some of the best. I lost some of the best. I, I would say that losses also are um, as more important in terms of experience, understanding. Oh, huge, brother fucking understand huge. what really goes on it's huge well it's like yeah, well it's yeah it's like in comedy when you destroy the set you're like all right but when you bomb you really go back to the start work on the things like well that didn't work there that didn't work there so it's like in fighting when you get knocked out it's like all right well this isn't working even though some of it's working yeah. but you go back and you just you really dial in on what you need to do there's a really good speech by arnold schwarzenegger he gave a commencement speech i thought was really really good that you know you, not a lot of people are successful in that many genres as Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold, sir. he makes me look like a peasant. Thank you, sir. I mean, and 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 you know what he said? Um, he said, "I don't like Plan Bs uh, when you're going for something. I don't you better like, be all in. You better be all in. Whatever he you're said, in, you better be all in." He said, "Because you're competing with people who are all in, and if you have a Plan B, if you have an op uh, option in anything in life, when you're trying." To, you know, and, and I think that's an important thing to keep in mind for people. But especially like, with fighting bees. My mother, it's the, 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 well, I don't because mean if there's you, any doubt, if there's any doubt, this is what the I'm consequences. saying. The, the consequences. The consequences are. Listen, if you want to be a singer and you don't have a plan B and you don't make it, all right, you'll find something else. In fighting, if you have, if you have a plan B, you're going to get really, really injured. So the consequences are so dramatic. Like, just don't do it. It's and, not And your it. body, I've always said your body will tell the truth. Your body, whether you say whatever you want, your brain can say whatever you want. It's like a little bit like, like so with my psoriasis, that had to do with emotional shit that I was not Stress. dealing with, okay? And once I took care of that emotional <coughs> Called shit. Called it. What? Yeah, yeah, you did. I'm sorry, you saw how you many did, doctors? You did, so did my mother. Mm -hmm. But once I dealt with, with the issues of my life that were not resolved, and I dealt with them honestly and it confronted them, what a surprise that my psoriasis went away. So a lot of times you may say you're into something and you're not, but your body will tell the story. Now in fighting, in fighting, at, when you were going to fight Travis Brown and I saw your face and you were like, I just wasn't into it. Well, you didn't even have any energy in your body. No, well, zero. guess what? You can't fake it. You can't fake it. Because your body was like, hey, we don't want to do this. So your no, body subconscious, is your body's shutting down. Yes. You're tired. Yes. But it's all yes. that comes Because you know why? Down. You had a fucking plan B. <laughs> I had a plan, I'd, yeah, had plan, a plan B, B and C. I remember it plan so B well, Bub, because you were sitting there and we were, we were, we would, we would always bond. We'd all be sitting around laughing and telling stories in a bar. And even if you weren't drinking. That was the best. We would just be laughing and talking. Yeah. And I remember you said, <laughs> we go how good is this somebody said how good is this just to hang and talk like this and you go it's all i want to do it's all i want to do and i go and i went well, well that's, that's all that. i want to do yeah God, that's all, i'm not a fighter <laughs> and i looked at you and i went uh-oh uh -oh. and you had a big smile on your face and i was like uh-oh well and i was delighted because I you know i was like good but but at the same time that I can't know. be all you want to do jorge masvidal that's not all he wants to do he wants to put his fist through your face you know it's a different thing but I think that's a really, Arnold Schwarzenegger saying, I don't like plan Bs. Be all in when you, when you, and my mother said to me when I was an actor, I never forgot this. She said, she sat down and she said, what is your plan B? Um, do you think you should go back to school and get your law degree or get your MBA in case this doesn't work out? And I remember I looked at her and I said, I don't have a plan B, baby. This is it. If I don't make it, you I'm a mom, failure. Baby. I don't have a plan B, baby. <laughs> no, I said, see you on the other side. No, and it goes on. I go, I don't have a don't plan, have plan B, B baby. baby. And she goes, see ya. She goes, what? And I go, shut up, bitch. I go, come here. And I made out with her. Uh -huh. I know. And then I you know. went, you're, yeah. And then you went, you're disgusting, mama. Yeah, yep. Yep. See in Hollywood, yep. bitch. And and then and I have a I have a son who's also 
My brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, no, but, uh, uh, but that's an important thing. And I, I see so many people, and I know you well, do too. Well, it's I the same thing when work. I'm on the road. One of the, my favorite things to do is when I don't bring Derek and Hassan with me, I have other, uh, the local talent. And I talked to this one guy. I could tell, like, he did his first set, and it was rough, man. And he comes in the back. You know how it is. I mean, I'm around the fucking comedy store. I see the best in the world. So the guy comes back, and I go, I, and, you know, Jay's with me all the time. And Jay, you know, he sees everyone. And Jay just goes, oh, that's rough. I go, that was definitely rough. I went, I bet you he hasn't been doing stand-up. So he comes to the back, and I go, hey, brother, uh, how, many, how many times a month are you getting up around here? He goes, maybe once a month. Got a lot going on. I went, oh, well, well no, you're not doing stand-up, dude. And he goes, you're no, not a comic. I went, well, no, you're not a cop, comic, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm around guys who, I mean, they're getting up four or five times a even night. Even if you're they're not driving two in hours. The and right. Oh, you I know. No, not even that. I got guys, you know, Derek and Hassan, they drive to San Diego on a Wednesday night to do six minute I spots. I love that. Then drive back to Burbank, do a spot. And then, they'll, you know, they get on another show. Like, you're not even in the race. So the the plan B or whatever you're doing, you're not all in. You're competing Derek and Hassan with are, all, are doing that. Yeah. That's who you're competing with. Um, I don't give a fuck. But it's it's my same advice to, to to when Mark Munoz asked me to talk to those guys about coming to practice. I went, well, they're not even in the race. Like, if you have to tell people come to practice or if you have to tell comics to make sure they're getting their sets and I mean, you're not, we're not even in the same boat, man. That's so frustrating to me. I'm always like, hold on. Why, why, but it's not. Why are you not eating and breathing this? That's why I think life is fair a lot of times. A lot of times it's not. A lot of times it is. Success, like when you see people really successful, uh, not an accident, especially if it's prolonged success. Not an accident. Correct. Take a look at how they live their life and then take a look at how you live your life. And what will happen is, I, I always say this about Hollywood, I, I didn't make it as an actor for a long time because I didn't want to act. So my body... My body, when I went into an audition so for a country, movie, yeah. I wasn't ready. I didn't get ready for the audition because I didn't want to be on a set. It's fair. It is fair. Yeah, Brian, you're so talented. I'm real talented. I know. That guy wanted more. Yeah. That guy got better. That's the well, he might be just ever. as talented, but he works his ass off. Yeah. Or not as talented, but he's prepared and he's you're prepared. not. He's prepared. He's prepared. I saw that. I saw certain actors that were really famous. Well, I watched Bradley Cooper. That motherfucker was... Bradley Cooper was going to get the part. That, what he's do you mean not so ready? much better looking than you. Well, he's also way better looking, but there's a lot matter. of good looking guys. Doesn't matter. A lot of good looking guys. Yeah, but he's so much better looking. <laughs> Don't say so much. I was good looking when I was younger. Bradley Cooper? Okay, man. All right. He's got some beautiful Especially eyes. when he has his beard? I told you when he sweats, his girlfriend smelled him. I ever tell you a story? Oh, she loves it. No, she goes, he was leaning. I didn't know him very well. It was back in the day. And she smelled him, his fiance at the time. And, I, and she goes, oh, and I go, what are you doing? He was, it was a hot day. We we're on our way flying to Nantucket. And she goes, he smells like olive oil when he sweats. I was like, this motherfucker smells like olive oil. I bet, you, I bet he does. I was like, this motherfucker. And then he's, then you play a board game with Bradley, and he's really competitive. But when you win, he goes like this. He goes, oh, good job, dude. Oh, Fucking no. good job. He's like oh, a really no. good sport. <laughs> he, broke ah! up, he broke up with his girl, and now there's rumors of him and Lady Gaga, right? Yeah. He broke up with that girl. It's the delicious. hottest thing. Oh, my God. He's got God. a baby they with have a baby. Ooh, she is delicious. The lady got, ooh, woo, woo. But, oh my Doesn't God, matter, she's doesn't. frustrating hot. Doesn't no, matter. listen, there's someone sick of fucking Beyonce out there. His name's Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Um, it's true. It's just the way the cookie crumbles in it's our true. lives, dude. He's, he's, uh, he is what he is, man. Um, and he, he's dating Lady Gaga now. But here's the advantage Lady Gaga has over this She's, this she's alien. so hot, dude. though. <laughs> it's frustrating like, hot. I, I'm grinding what? my teeth she's so hot that's like that's like a, what, what happens when you see a Ferrari like you I caught Brennan fucking trying to he was rubbing his genitals against his Ferrari <laughs> I fucked the exhaust I was like I you put gotta my stop dick in the I had to pull him off his own Ferrari um, mm. yeah she's frustratingly hot but here's the th advantage Lady G Gaga has is she just has that it factor doesn't she she's an artist she's powerful right she's a bit of a boss she might not look like her but she has this she has those X factors. She's undeniable, bro. She's, She's undeniable. She's Gaga. good at everything. Yeah. But compared to the other girl, I mean, what are we talking about here? You know what I'm talking? Mm -hmm. I mean, but she has factors that she doesn't. That's that's 100. You've been there. You've dated fucking yeah. Ferraris, but there's not much going on. Yeah. And, and then I've when dated, you get when you get I've a dated that. when you get a Honda dated. Civic yeah. that has a bunch of tricks up its sleeve. <laughs> you and I are both about for it. talent, Bob. You and oh, I are both dude, suckers I'm for talent. I'm super drawn to it. Suckers for for personality. It's one thing about my my wife, uh, who is the fucking hilarious. 
She yeah. always had a great sense of humor. Like Everyone hilarious. Everyone thinks funny. Yeah. She's got a great sense of humor. Yeah. But when my son, I think, is going to be a, a, a comic. But uh, yeah, personality as you get older is everything. Yeah, because uh, you're stuck with them, dude. As, long, married, as, they have, stuck as them. long as they're super curvy. That's the other thing. That's <laughs> As soon as, as long as they have a personality and a huge rack, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? No, just kidding. And a great, great ass and a tiny waist. And yeah, that'd be skin. great. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, Chin, still no, no, nothing on the dating front for no. you. Oh, yeah, of course there's dating yeah. on the front. He's got lots Dude, of what are you going to do? You'll see. No, I don't see. <laughs> hey, there's Chin. No. Chin just went. You'll see? Chin just went. You'll see. And then he went like this. He looked sideways. Do you know when they when they when they, you'll uh, see as a story comes breaking out that there's 17 girls trapped in his basement? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you mean you'll see? What do you mean you'll see? Lady Gaga. What? No. What if he's dating Bradley mm -hmm. Cooper's ex? That hot smoke oh, show. You never know. He's like, hey man, let's quit talking about it. Huh? Let's move on. Why? <laughs> he gets all defensive. <laughs> Jim, what are you what are you gonna do though? Have you ever thought about it? I'm really not concerned right now. You're you're 41. 42. I just turned 42. When was your birthday? April. Did we celebrate it? Nah. You By did? the way, you guys forgot Kat's birthday. I did not. I was out of town. And I texted her. Oh, okay. When was your birthday? It was last Wednesday. The well, right, the third. You fuck. I didn't know that. Happy birthday, darling. <laughs> I, I was also in Hawaii, but I did text Kat. Ah, uh, I'm terrible. Yeah, we're bad with birthdays. But you don't bring yours up, Chin, because you don't want anyone to know your age. I just don't like people making a big deal out of it. Right. Not age. I don't care. Can you bring up? Hey, but, but here's the thing, Chin. What's your plan, dude? You're 42, and there are. I say this was all due respect. There are <laughs> no prospects, man. There is, dude. Yeah. There's prospects. But I'm just, I'm a pain to deal with. I think you're not. You're, I am. You're a tall, handsome. Guy. No, I'm talking about my. When you're talking about looks, his yeah. personality. Why? Because you like to sing and shit on your in your undies. I'm just a, <laughs> no, because he's super. He's super do that. Uh, anal rigid, about things. Rigid. He doesn't like change. Right? He hates change. Well, honestly, being single is probably one of the my favorite things right now. You like your alone time. I do. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't have to worry about anything. One of the things about having children and having yeah, see? Is, is that you you just there's nothing like that. You're you're not an individual anymore. Yeah. yeah, there's no alone time. I like being home and just not worrying about what but I there's look so, like But you can get a girl who's super independent who's gonna do her own thing. You'll see. No, no, you're waiting for technology with a mannequin <laughs> or some shit? <laughs> no. You'll Jim's, see. Jim's I wonder what you. To figure I have out. plenty. Of, okay, not plenty. He's Forty. Yeah, but he's trying to figure out like how to tell his parents. And <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like, you'll see. Yeah. We're, you're trying to figure. You, what, what you there, okay, about? there's definitely girls, but I'm not really like super. There's none that I'm like, wow, I would, I would actually want to spend real time with. Yeah. No desire to spend time with girls at all. No. No, not that. Like, know, at, like an actual girlfriend? You're, you're just talking about like having fun? Go out and have fun? Just right. in general, dude. I still do that. One on one? You, you know, you go in group dates. No. Usually, if you guys ever talk to people that watch the show or listen to the show, they'll probably house. tell you like whenever they see me outside, I'm usually with a, a girl. female. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, but I just don't friend, really talk about but it. But as a friend. Some are friends, yeah. Yeah. I do. See, Brent and, Brent and I don't have girlfriends, really. That's not how we roll. Um, no, no, <laughs> no we're, we are friends. Guys, man. Yeah. If you see us yeah. with a gal, it's going to be t -t 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 trouble. Someone's sucking. And like, like if, you saw, if you saw Brennan and I out, I'm just saying. Guys, <laughs> that, like us, that's my only girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I if you, saw, if you saw Brennan and I out, if we were at dinner with a girl. Yeah. Or we were at. It'd be. <laughs> I'm all set on <laughs> French. Jim. They better be. They better be a publicist or a business associate with a notebook in front of them, because otherwise or we're guilty. There's some female. Comments. Otherwise we guilty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. There's <laughs> some female. You know what I'm saying though? What, what was Brennan was it? Was a woman in his car? What you know what I mean? Like, we're guilty. Guilty. We're guilty. Mm -hmm. Full blown. Guilty. At dinner with what? At a bar with the guilty. If I'm sharing a steak. There's a reason. There's you know a what I'm saying? Yeah. guilty. I, you, you're not. I'm stressed out about it, Jim. What are you gonna do, dude? I, I, honestly, if I want to settle down, if I'm just like tired of being whatever, then I have options. I would say. What about like? But that's if what, I just give up on like. What about family and kids? Like you know, you can do both. You I don't want that family right and career. I honestly don't want to have like. Oh, a, I don't want, want to have a real relationship right now. No. You don't want kids. I mean. Maybe one day, but I'm not like one day. No, bro. <laughs> hey, one Brian. Day. He, if I had a kid at what? Forty six. You said I was forty one. Your your latest kid when you're yeah, dude. His kids are. You what, said you had seven, like five. My second one was uh, what when I was forty. Yeah, forty six. Yeah, there you go. Boom. I have to forty six, man. Five? 
45. No. My son's seven. So 45. 45. I got three yeah. years. That's a I, long but time. I, but I conceived the child. I fucked yeah, but, yeah, but he had a kid before that. And he was busting in San nuts. Francisco. Yeah, he was busting nuts. My son dude. was conceived in the Hotel Vitali. <laughs> Yeah, bro. That's where I like fucking. But he had a kid. That's where I was like, "Here comes the fucking gift. Here comes the Gay. little one. Cake You're welcome." Batter. That's what I say. Icing, I say. icing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, huh, Chin? I'm surprised that you guys are so concerned. That's sweet. That's very sweet of you guys. What's well, alarming to me, if anything, <laughs> is it? Is Brent no is else? alarmed. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I think you're. You just uh, think he's a lone wolf. I like yeah, it right I think, now. Huh? I like it right now. For now. You've been for with now. us for how long? I think Chen has to I've been single for a long time. Uh, but I'm sure. saying, how long have you been with us? Uh, two and a half years. You, no. do know, you do know that. Longer you, than that. You do know that if you ever came to us and said, hey, guys, just. Hey, guys. Like, <laughs> I you know, you, he and I would not give a. We'd yeah. celebrate it. I, I don't think. Chen, I would love I know to. Chen's not gay. No. Who, if even if, if, even, even if he is, Bo, he, Brennan and I would, would be your biggest supporter. I appreciate oh, that. Dude. For real. For ratings on the show. We would be. We would officiate your fucking wedding. I'm not kidding. To go through dudes, it'd be sick. I would marry you at your wedding. Oh, I mean, I disapprove I'm a liberal. of it, and I'm a, I'd fire you, but... You're going to hell, but still. <laughs> and, and Jesus frowns upon it. I always talk about being a conservative. And take your fucking parades yeah. and go yeah. somewhere, but I'll celebrate I'm it. a conservative. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an economic conservative, and I, I can't stand left-wing identity politics, and all, but I'm basically super liberal socially. Yeah, me too. I super mean, I just liberal. am. I would marry you, and I'd, you know... I'd, That's awesome. Yeah, well... I just believe if it happens, play. Chin, you you've been long. You've been with us way longer than two and a half years, dude. How long has it been? Think how long we went to Australia. Maybe three years. Longer than that. You've been with us at was when we remember when we left Fox. We left Fox. Yeah, I remember the exact day and everything that too. Four years ago. Like if you decided know. to leave us, it I don't think it's four years. years. If both of you decided years. to leave us, I think it would be a disaster for us. These we, two. We, yeah, we'd oh, be completely fucked up over here. Complete nightmare. We need you guys. Thank you. Brian can leave. We need you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but real, it's really hard in. to find people you can trust that we that you really rely on. Oh, but how long you guys are help? good. Yeah, They're guys fucking good. good. We went through a lot of like people, you know. Went through a lot of frogs before we found our prince. Yeah. Is uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like you are clockwork reliable it's fucking not to be Gangsters. under like there are not a lot of people that are like that there are not a lot of people who are tough enough to fucking be clockwork like that Asians that dude fucking reliable Asians yeah. dude I admire it oh they work round I've ball. always said my Koreans are like no Apple fucking joke here. Vietnamese no joke the Vietnamese, again, I've said it a thousand times. No one has ever conquered Vietnam. They've yeah, tried. No one wants to, though, you know? They've never, oh, no, the Chinese <laughs> tried. Not, not, not these days, though. The Chinese no one tried. cares anymore. Better land around uh, there. I want, we should go there. Apparently, it's great. Oh, dude, that would be Too far. so fun. Yeah, Too far never. to fly. Too far to fly. Hmm. So is Japan. Cat, what do you what do you think is the verdict on Chin? Now you've hung out with him probably more than us. Yeah. I remember on the road with Chin, but he's very a recluse. He's he's eating he's sushi artist. out of a market. He's yeah. doing his own thing. He's an artist. We went on the road too soon though. We barely knew each other, so it was like kind of we went on a huge long trip when we barely we went knew to each Australia. Other. Yeah, it was it was and oh it, oh why was it weird? Oh because I went <laughs> cold opened sold out. Theaters, mm. two a uh, year into stand up That's good stuff. in Australia. That's a lot of cold fun. open. Oh Jesus Christ! That was my training camp. Yeah. Uh, did, what did, were you gonna say did, though, Cap? What do you if, think? If 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 uh, Brennan and I, <laughs> Brennan and I will, <laughs> we get naked in front of us, with no problem, right? Like we're just naked, yeah. And it wouldn't matter what 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 happens. Uh, but you would not get naked in front of us, right? Nah. No, no, no. Nah, that's just not That's me, Asian man. culture, though. You yeah. ever seen a guy... Listen, I grew up in locker rooms. Even when Asians would be in the locker room, they were never like the white or black guys. They're like, Asian? yeah! <laughs> like, naked as Like, I'll get naked and fucking do karate kicks yep. and everyone's laughing and shit. Yeah. I've had black guys use their dicks and talk to them like mics. It's fun, <laughs> dude. It's, it's fun. fun. I'll tell you right now, I've been in the locker room with Asians. They ain't doing that. No, no. Leo Machido walks around with a towel around He does? Head. Oh, I've never seen his dick. Uh, Disappointing. I want to see the dragon. You feel yeah. me? You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Because he's got he's, he's half Brazilian, so I know. He might be working. Might with be that big old acai dick. Uh, Kat, what do you think is going on with Chin? Because you you guys hang out on your mm -hmm. own together. I think Chin is really picky. I think he needs a very particular type of person, and I don't know if that person exists <laughs> in our area. Do you have any friends? He I likes Asians. Young as hell. They're gonna be really young though. Yeah. I don't know if he, he wants somebody mature, that young. No, no. Yeah. You don't want mature? No, I, my personality is way immature. I mean, around my friends. Like, 
close friends. Really? Yeah. I feel like you guys are way more mature than me. Oh, I, on the I outside mean, of I comedy. Mean, I mean, I'm, we talk about I'm, dicks and Asians every I'm podcast. So fucking. I'm immature. so mature sometimes. I'm sorry. You guys have kids, so you're mature. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So what do you think, Kat? You have no. F- I don't. I don't know if I have any friends that Chin would like. Honestly, I think he's just not interested. I don't know. I don't know what type of girl he likes, but I feel like she's. She doesn't like, exist. She's in the. She's somewhere. I just don't know where. Internet. There's like maybe three of them in the world. Fuck. Three girls that Chin's like. That's the one. Well, that's, that's how your book's gonna unfold, Chin. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but yeah. the ones I've dated have been awesome. They've been can't be too amazing. awesome because you're single as fuck. But hey, I was younger. And you changed. won't get on the dating apps, which was so much fun. I'm still on Tinder. Life. I just don't use it. So you're not on it. That's like yeah. me on Tinder. I've never been on there, but I don't use it. Raya is the fucking... Huh? He's, he, that's not for him. No. What's Raya? No, he's not there yet. Or Raya. That's what I mean. Raya. Raya. Oh, like high you class? Certain, yeah, you have to have uh. certain... But there are some fucking... <laughs> Dude, you just need a professional. You just need professionals. You can do your thing. They come over. You pay them. Dude, I them. would not mind that, to be honest. Dude. If I'm like feeling super lonely, that seems like the best way. Just professionals. Get yeah, a professional get it done. that you can rely on. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. The same one that comes over, I don't know, every Friday or Saturday. I mean, if you need someone, let me know. The last place don't. I worked at, a bunch. Oh, yeah, that's of true. She did oh, yeah. see a that's, bunch. Of yeah. Hold, I used to. Hold the phones. Yeah. The last place <laughs> I worked at, it was just a bunch of really, really well to do men and women who didn't want to have families, didn't want to have relationships, and they would have escorts and prostitutes come up all the time. Really? Yeah. I know a lot of them to this day. Really? They're re- most of them are really, really good people. Are they hot? No, that's the thing. A lot of them are <laughs> cool. Man. A lot of them are, are some of the hot? best people you'll meet. The hottest. What do they, they run usually? What do they run? I don't know how much they run. I think it yeah, also fun? depends Just on what you're looking for. Three to five grand. What? <laughs> they were rich though, those people, right? I'm yeah, not, very well-to-do grand. people. They were super rich. Building. Hey. Three to five? If you, if I saw him, you're talking about quality when we started the show. I understand, but three to five is not. I can't justify. Right. B. Brennan, if you on. saw for five, what you get for five grand, you'd be like, oh yeah, no doubt. But that's a lot of money for the night. A five thousand dollars. How good of a night do you want, Brian? Well, you, when I've you, had, when you, I've when had you, beautiful you, women in my life. I, I, yeah, I mean, I've never, it's not that much better. Five, five grand. Bring up five grand. Well, it's going to be tough to find. <laughs> be, I don't know but if we're going to do I mean, that, that Victoria's, um, Cooper's ex, that, that is hot as shit, but $5,000. You wouldn't pay five grand for two old, Bradley too Cooper's, old to care. You wouldn't pay five grand for Bradley's girl? Three grand. I'm See? negotiating. We get you coming around. We get you coming around. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. All right, three grand. See how it starts? I'm taking two grand I'm like off. like a car dealer. Female escorts. Wait. Ooh. I'm over to drove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's at cans though. That listen, that's that's yeah. for the billionaire shit like that. No, I'm not. I'm talking about real people Those shit, man. Tens. The, the the people who are in the business in Hollywood. I've seen it, dude. Three sexy Japanese slim big boobs, hundred sixty dollars. Mm. That's in Gardena if you're looking for it. Uh, Asian Amy. Now here's the problem with a lot of these is they look that you think you're gonna get that and they come over and, they and it looks like fucking yeah yeah looks like, like Jerry, oh, Jerry fucking nice Springer with I a, need help can I I had to that's another sad I thing when her. a girl goes up and then they come down like five minutes later like you know that they were sent away that's oh really uh, the guy's like, like get uh, the fuck out of here that's such a bummer I'm like oh you're leaving that's a tough too? gig man it's a tough gig. Yeah, I know a girl who told who um, a guy spit in her face. She went and he didn't like her and spit in her face in um, in uh, Malibu. Was she talking back though? No, she went to be his escort. Oh, and, uh, and she looked like shit. He spit in her face. Yeah, and uh, then she had some people go visit him, and uh, oh, they killed him. Oh, they, yeah, they they Was murdered it? him. And oh then, wow, uh, this story took a yeah, really no, extravagant. <laughs> Here's the you can quit looking at Jim Williams. Like <laughs> In trouble. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I don't have a problem with this. Like really hot shouldn't girls have, you who shouldn't have a problem. Who I think, I think we put legal. too much, too much, uh, too much effort, too much uh, judgment on sex. Mm-hmm. Like I it's agree. like all right. I think prostitution is basically legal, but it should be legal. Why not? Well, why not? I don't get it. 
It is. Like, it I, is done anyway. I can get my back massaged by some hot girl, but if she touches a different part of my body, she yeah. goes to jail. Those are those kind of vice of, laws. Those outdated vice laws. Yeah, the so old school. I don't have a problem with it. I just think two uh, consenting adults should be allowed to enter into a transaction. There is a transaction anyway. There's a transaction. Let's say I went on a date tonight. Let's say me and Cat went out. I bought Cat drinks. I bought her dinner. It went to a really nice place. Say it's five hundred dollars, and then I got a hotel. It's another. That's a. It's a grand. I'm. In, I'm in for a grand. That money's money, whether I'm giving it directly to you or if I'm paying for it in forms of liquor and hotel yeah. rooms. So it's still. It's just so stupid. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's. Uh, th there are especially as you get older to be my age. You know, I was listening to a, a sex ex expert on uh armchair uh expert with Dak mm -hmm. shepherd he had a sex expert on there and you know how everyone's like oh like these millennials and these young kids are having so much sex and they're ridiculous they're not it's not true because now are not having sex right no well uh, the the entire nation especially uh, the united states is having less and less sex especially the younger demo because they have so much access to porn and God. they and they, they they're doing it themselves now and and now like monogamy is really not for them, so they might hook up here and there, but they're really not fucking with it, man. And they're I've and everything's that. about becoming self efficient, and you know that they're, they're having. It's less a bummer sex. because there's not uh, that connection. You're able to do it in a cyber way or something. Is that what? It, well, the porn is so good now, yeah. or you can do you can chat to a girl or DMs, or they send you nudes. So you know, dudes are like, all right, I'm jacking off this way, or you know, yeah. So it's it's going down and down. That's a bummer. That doesn't make women happy. That's for damn sure. And uh, maybe it doesn't well, women make are the happy. same. You know. Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting. That's interesting. But they talk about like with with like um, I don't know how they start talking about. They're talking about like with with gay dudes how it's just different for them, right? Like if yeah. you're a gay man, you can go. I mean, there's the areas you, you, you the, well, there's uh, areas you can go in L anywhere in the world in the nation but in L A and you go get fucked by four guys and come back and be like, all right, where are we getting smoothies? That's true. Well, there's no there's no gym, there's no restroom where four women are gonna let you fuck them and then carry on with yeah, their day. You know, right. it just doesn't exist. No, because dudes have testosterone. It's just what they do. Uh huh. It's not that big of a deal to the true. dudes. Dudes are creepy. Yeah, it was interesting. Dudes are creepy that way. Super creepy. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. Somebody asked me, I was talking to two people about love, and they were asking me to define love. Like, what do you mean you're in love? Like, when you say you're in love with somebody in a relationship, what does that mean? How do you define it? What does that mean? And, and how long is it going to last? Have you ever tried to define it? It's a tough thing to define. There's to sexual define attraction love? that's deep. There's possession where you're possessive over somebody because that's your mama bear. That's your. But, but, but love is a hard thing to kind of... You know, it's hard. It, like, what's the motivation behind you are in a relationship with somebody? You really love them. You you guys are obsessed with each other. I you, love a but, lot of people. Yeah. The question is, when you say you're in love with somebody, what is, if you were to really dissect that, what's that really fucking mean? You know, it's like. That'd be a tough way. To, that'd be a tough to define. Sometimes maybe it's best not to define it, right? So I was thinking about this the other day. Like scientists like to reduce shit. There are different ways of looking at down. life. They break it down. And sometimes breaking it down takes the magic out of life. So let me give you a classic example. I love dogs. I love dogs. Had dogs my whole life. Somebody, um, I heard a scientist, uh, there was this article about how dogs are hunters, scavengers, and pack animals. And when they're really friendly with you and they wag their tail, that might be how they've evolved to get you to give them food and take care of them. Yeah. If you look at a dog as a self-serving animal that's manipulating you that way, you're not going to love dogs the same way. When you look at a dog that's just a fucking beautiful creature that makes you smile, that runs after a ball, that kids hug and cry when it dies, that's a, that's a, that is a truth. The, 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 like your deep love for your dog, which I have, is, a, is just as true as what the scientist is describing as why the dog like likes Pavlov, me. I'm not that dog. interested in, in, in your definition of a dog. Because yeah. that, that's not how I look at my dog, that's right? That's science though, isn't it? It is. But that science may not be relevant to me emotionally. And it doesn't make my life better, actually. Yeah. You're understanding, I guess, the deep scientific mathematical motivations of a dog and well, reducing something, it down to that. Some things aren't scientifically... Some, explain sometimes like right. love, some things you can't really quantify we'll, like, we'll quantify faith there you go in any religion give me the formula where go. i should believe in jesus christ there you go give but, me then, the formula but then sam for harris any religion. sam harris who's a public intellectual will say things like we have to uh, science has to destroy religion well okay until you, lose, until you lose a child 
And then what is your, how are you going to help me with your science, dude? Well, I told you. I need I'm, my, I need my God what, in that situation. I'm not that much of a religious person. This is well documented. Uh, I'm a deitist. You're a so I, be, I believe in a, in a God, but I'm not a certain religion. I don't believe Jesus Christ and all that yeah. stuff. Deitist. Deitism. So, uh, but when my son got had his issues, first thing I did, start praying. Fuck yeah, you did. First thing I started doing. Because well, you know when I was what? Fighting was the first thing I did before I hit pray. that curtain. Start praying. Fuck yes. If there is someone up there, please help me out. You ever man. hear that? There's no no atheist in the, in a foxhole. Foxhole meaning like the when you in a hole full, you're about you're in a war with a you know waiting. You, until you've been in those situations, there is a reason that you you. When you're helpless, when you have no options, when science isn't there for you, you start fucking praying. Yeah, but science can't explain that feeling you get when, like... Inspiration? No, not that. They definitely can't explain that. But science can't explain that thing where it goes, I wouldn't do that, Brendan. I'd go here. I went, uh, Intuition. I'd, you're talking I, about intuition. Yeah, like that little thing in, in your brain going... I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't do that. Yeah. Hey, man, you're, you're going to be in trouble. So, so Jonathan. Hey, get ready. You're going to be in trouble. Jonathan Haidt, who's a, a, a psychologist, talks about this exact thing. He goes, human beings are intuitive. So it's not, you don't just, you're not just immoral. You're not just moral because it causes harm. So the idea is I'm, I'm, I'm a moral person because I don't want to cause any harm. But we also have weird intuitions like where we, the, he uses these really fucked up examples. A woman takes an American flag, cuts up in a bunch of pieces and cleans her bathroom with it. We don't like that. Somebody takes a shit on a sacred battlefield that your nation was founded on. We don't like that. Uh, somebody fucks a chicken, comes in it, cooks the chicken and eats it. Nobody gets hurt. A vegan, a woman, she's, she's got a job cremating bodies in a, in a thing. She goes, you know, this is a perfectly good waste of meat. Guy's about to go into an incinerator. She cuts a piece of his thigh off, takes it home, cooks it, and eats it. Nobody got hurt, yeah. but we all go, ugh. Yeah, we all it's go, just ugh. a code we live A by. brother and sister. Uh, they're in the woods. Nobody can see it. He wears a condom. She's on birth control. They fuck. Are they hot? Nobody knows about it. They're hot. <laughs> but we we have, an, uh, most cultures go, ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Especially if they're ugly. Even though nobody got harmed, technically, <laughs> ugh. It's still not. It's still, yeah. it's still, it lists a disgust response. Frown upon. A taboo. Why? Yeah. Well, that's, that's that intuition. Human beings are fucking intuitive. And if you want to talk, that's how people vote, too. They go, I don't like... They, a lot of people were like, I just don't like Hillary Clinton. I oh, just that's don't right, trust Trump her. Won. Yeah, that's it. 100%. There's something, oh, you yeah, know. There's something about it. I don't trust like, her. Mm. What is it about her? I, you ever meet people where you go, I just don't trust that person. I just don't. And I've had that, and that I'm usually fucking right. There's something about yeah, no. that person where I'm like, I just don't, I, I don't know. believe you. I, know. I don't know why, but I don't believe or you. you know they're going to turn around and walk away and like talk shit. Yeah. Or just, there's something nasty Or you're, nasty you're motive. being nice to me because you want, what I is know. it? And that intuition is very important to listen to. Oh, it's everything. It is. Some people call it street smart. Yeah. Rogan had a fucking riff yesterday on astrology because we did stand up on the spot astrology and he goes it's bullshit he goes you just want a pattern like he went through this whole thing about how he talks to really smart science i, I don't want i don't want to give it away because he might turn into a bit yeah but, it's gonna be but it was so good because it was like astrology is for people who want a pattern a predictable pattern to life but there's nothing wrong with that it's human but you can't predict life life isn't a pattern life is fucking no random it's, it's random. random yeah he was really funny last night improvising um yeah, those tarot card readers. I got a pee out of my shit. giant dong, dude. Can you help me pull this thing out? Cause I guess, man. I got him all tied down on my leg. He's been really unruly lately. Speaking of intuition, I get a bad feeling about this. <laughs> about your dong. Hey, B. You know what, man? Uh, I might vote for Bernie Sanders, or, or, because he's getting rid of student loans, or, you know what I'm gonna do? What? You know what I'm gonna do? You're gonna get a real private loan. Yeah, dude. From Ernest? I'm talking about Ernest. It has a design, a private student loan for actual students. In 2019, I mean, you can apply on your phone, dude. They customize loan terms, low interest rates, no fees. They also give you three extra months, nine It's total. less complicated. Yeah, dude. Okay. It's less complicated because a lot of kids can't afford college or scholarships, okay? Ernest has designed a private student loan for actual students in 2019. I mean, you can get, apply totally on your phone. You, you, you have customizable 
loan terms, low interest rates, no fees. They also give you three extra months, nine months total after leaving school to start paying back your private student loan. And Ernest private student loans can cover up 100% of your school's cost of attendance. Yeah, but Plus, B, is it impossible? Like, do I have to take nine hours to fill out <laughs> paperwork? No, and that's the thing. You don't have to have a finance degree for it. And also, I'll tell you something else. The internet loves Ernest lo customer service. They gave it a 9.4 out of 10 on Trustpilot. Dude, I love it. It's a two-minute eligibility check. You can invite a co-signer if you choose to and apply. Okay? Yep. And guess what? The school year is approaching fast. So the Fire Kid listeners, uh, you guys get a hundred dollars cash bonus when you get a private student loan at earnest.com slash fighter. That's a hundred dollar cash bonus. You get a private student loan at earnest.com slash fighter. And you can see the terms and conditions on the site. Go to earnest.com slash fighter today. Don't let student loans stand in your way. Take control with earnest. E-A-R-N-E-S-T dot com slash fighter. Where were we at before you had to drain that thing? Um, I don't know. Let's do some current Dude, events. Dude, have you been watching Stranger Things? No, I don't watch that dumb show. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but my daughter is obsessed. Oh, it's good. Is there anyone else in here watch it? Mm-mm. Not anymore. You just watched the first season? First season, yeah. This might be the best season, man. I'm really? going to get back into it. Is it really it. good? Oh, my. It's Worth so it? well done. Really? So well done. So should I watch it? I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, don't care. Yeah, that's a great answer. Yeah, right? That gives a fuck. It, dude. Like, it's okay. such a good show, though. You haven't watched it. It's uh, so well done. Scary? Nah, I'm 36, man. There you go. You know, not very scary. Yeah, but no, it's not a scary show. It's just a really well done show. It's really, yeah. really cool. All right. Um, but the, Euphoria is the shit. Finally caught up last night. Euphoria on HBO. I don't know. Euphoria. You want to talk about pushing the limits? What is and shot well? It's with uh, the Zendaya girl. Yeah, Zendaya. Zendaya, she's gorgeous. But she's she in plays the Spider Man. A, yeah, she plays a drug addict, and she's a good actress. Wow. Yeah, it, but there's then there's this transgender girl in this as well. It's just, I mean, there's a lot of dicks in this thing. Maybe Jeez. why I like it, but there's like then there's this married man who's fucking this transvestite. It, like Jeez. there's a lot going on. A lot of real life shit going on, dude. It's HBO. Uh, I'm, yeah, I've never seen something shot like this, and it's mm. so it dives in deep, deep cuts into the. The lives of like drug addicts and mm. transsexuals. Okay. It's so well done, man. Damn, there's some good TV out there, man. Yeah, this show's so goddamn good. And that the, the she can sing Zendaya. Is that what she is? She does? can do everything. She can sing. She can dance. She can really do it all. She's such a monster. Mm. Um, Where's she like from? Nine hundred. Originally from Oakland. Billion fans wow. uh, on Instagram. But the the transgender girl on the left, real transgender. Really? So I was like, oh, is that like a girl that's, or a boy that was a dude. That was a dude? That was a dude that's now a female, but that's that's her in real life. Jesus. Because I watched like the behind the scenes thing, because I was trying to figure out, is that a female playing a transgender or is it a male playing? Wow. Nope, that's a real transgender female who's an actor. Huh. Probably not a lot of roles for them, that's you know? Impressive. So she could definitely, yeah, it's very She's interesting. She's beautiful. Her name's Cute. Jules. Jules. All right. Yeah, it's How a, old is she? I don't know, dude. Why? I just did. Uh, 20. Hunter Schaefer's the f real name. When did she get... Transgender woman. She's known for a role as Jules in HBO's drama. She's really, really good, man. Really, really freaking good. You know who else is in the show? Is uh, Judd Aptow's daughter. She didn't have like a big role, but she's in it. Um... Hmm. You would dig the show, though. It's, very, it's super interesting. Just because I've never seen some shit like this, you know? Drug addicts and transgender and high school and hooking up with married men. All crazy shit, man. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's do some current events. Okay. Okay. All right. First one. You guys know about this, I think. More? Kind of. Howard Someone Stern. sent me a video of it. So it's uh, Howard Stern. is in 2013. Yep. Unless, you guys know this. I'm a... I listen to Howard Stern damn near every day. I'm a huge Howard Stern fan, so this one kind of bumps me out. But it's like he's doing uh, when they first went to Sirius or something. He's like doing a company retreat, and he's talking up there. And God, he's so cocky and saying how you know how he made Jerry Seinfeld and how they should create fake accounts. Hold on, go back. Let me read this. So it's a uh, yeah. So okay. the the Seinfeld crowds happened to the pilot Jerry made a TV. The meeting was called the summit which he did in 2013, where we're going and how we're getting there. The self-proclaimed king of all media. Well, that's what he is. Um, Jason wasn't the only celebrity which the shock jock claimed to have created notoriety. He went after regular Billy Corgan, even referenced Was Oprah. Was Billy Corgan who we have on? 
No, no. That's, Billy Corbin, That's a director. Sorry. This is the oh, Billy Corbin, uh, Smashing, Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing oh, right. Pumpkins. Okay. Yeah, not the fucking director right. good, good, good. documentaries. Um, yeah, you just see yeah, the well, the part that I saw. Yeah, it's just a bummer if you're a fucking Howard Stern fan. Like it's so Hollywood, where he was like so anti Hollywood. Keep scrolling down. Uh -huh. He uh, somebody puts out a rock book, a rock record. We are the place to go. The pubs don't think or care about us. Some do, but most don't. We get the same results, but we don't have a book club. He's referring to Oprah. He's saying he's just as big as Oprah. Talk. But what's weird probably to me. True. I mean, it's all true, right? Mm. I mean, in other words, his his influence and his ability to get you exposure is 100% a fact. Yeah. It's probably just the bragging about it that sucks. Yeah, but look, he goes, Adam Levine owes us. He was the, uh, nobody was looking for him uh, before The Voice. It, it Yeah, I think the, the, the bummer is just. Can you imagine if Rogan him sort of this? him sort of bragging about his influence? Mm -hmm. But he also goes like he goes uh, he goes you know every celebrity does my show says so the best interview they've ever done and it's just like very like it's just a bummer if you're a Stern fan. Yeah, well, it might be the imagination is behind. Like a lot of times, you don't want to see how sausage is made. But you like sausage, and like you know. They like again. You have to be a bit of a killer. My experience with people like this is they're killers behind the scene. The killers. I mean, they they get like Tom Hanks one time said, "I let people think I'm a nice guy," but but he's getting what he wants. He, you know, you're you're you, you're getting what the what, fuck what, what you want. You, you might about, be good about what, it. What have you heard about Ellen? You heard the stories about Ellen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Savage, dude. Tough. Oh, savage. Oh, oh, yeah. And the by most, the way, hey, she's a stand -up hold on. Comic doesn't the surprise most, me at all. The most savage. There's no room for. Oh, <laughs> she'll rip your fucking head off. But Barbara on Streisand. TV, she's dancing. Barbara Streisand. And, hey, let's give out this. But dude, on uh, behind scenes, they say she is a murderer. But she knows what she wants, and and she, and, and she knows and, how to get there. And I, I've heard that too. She's not. Oh, uh, I, I know people that worked with her. Yeah, for, nightmare. Yeah. But Barbara Streisand was always known to be difficult. But Barbara Streisand would walk in, listen to a track, and go, get rid of the second horn. What? How'd you know? He's not doing his job. I don't need that. You want to be in Barbara Streisand's band, you have to be the best of the best. That guy sucks. See, that's a little different, though. Like, I don't know. With I know Howard's just a bummer. Yeah. Well, I think he's a guy who is still doing it at a high level because he's got a hole he can never fill, and that requires a certain amount of uncompromising, difficult, uh, 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 you know, I'm, I'm going to get even because you're snubbing me, but that's what drives him. But he was it's always like the anti-Hollywood. Then when you listen to this rant, you're like, yeah. ah, fuck, dude. I it you. used to be against all this stuff. Now you're, you, you've you become that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still a huge fan. Probably not going to read his I book, never listened though. to him. I don't know much about him. I've never listened to one. I've, He's amazing. I listened to one interview, and it was really good with Bill Maher, but I, I, and I need to get it, but that was it. Yeah, he's so good. He's so good. Yeah, the talk was just like, ugh. Man, it was a bummer. Yeah. It's a real bummer. What can you do? Well, he suggested that his people make fake Twitter accounts to get the word out. Mm. Goddamn, dude. All right. You know how his voice sounds really, really like crisp and, and deep and everything? He he does that on purpose, too. He has a specific mic, a, a very expensive TLM mic. Oh, really? Yeah, and he, he does. He, he cues it, compresses it in a certain way so it sounds like. So his voice is. Yeah. It's like you, all you hear is his yes. voice. Yeah. Like the gas sounds whatever, but his is very like mm -hmm. it it like ingrains into your yep. mind. Wow, that's smart. Yeah, I mean, if you ever been to Sirius, which I have, he has his own floor now. It's like, oh yeah. I mean, he he's 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 ownership in Sirius. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was thinking about the amount of hate he must have got when he went from terrestrial radio to a payment structure or Sirius. Yeah. He must have got so much fucking hate. Good. I guess you know he doesn't really deal with social media and stuff like that. And he he tried to do like a, a Facebook Live or Reddit Live and said he was on there for two minutes. I was like, holy fuck. He's like, this is so toxic and got the hell out. Reddit is, uh, I, I get people tell me, don't go on Reddit, dude. You get fucking a lot of hate. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I won't go on Reddit. Don't worry. But I also, I don't care. What do you, like, you don't know me. I, I do the best I can to be good. Well, but but also, person. I mean, Fuck yeah. Off. I mean, are you on Reddit creating accounts against those people that are hating you? I mean, <laughs> sure aren't. I yeah, sure she, ain't. Well, well, no, because you're a famous actor, comedian, making millions of dollars. Uh, I mean, no, no one who's successful is on Reddit doing uh, writing bullshit. Geez, it's like, do you know anyone who's successful that 
got on a, a comment and wrote something negative about I don't whatever, even know what Reddit is. A special you've done, a podcast you've done, anything? I don't, I don't, I'm too do you busy. know one comic? I have work. You think Kevin do. Hart's on there? Like, dude, that fucking sucked, bro. I or Bill much, Burr? Or Rogan? <laughs> well, no, you don't care. That's for, that's for the, the no. sheep. No. That's what sheep do. What else you got, Jen? First one. Should we describe it? I sent this one to Kat. So s some beautiful young lady and her boyfriend sent this to me. What is There's this? a real monkey prom out here. Where what? is this? Yeah, play it. This is uh, Michael Rapport posted this, by the way. So monkey attacks on people. I guess it's happening more and more frequently. Increasing problem in northern India. Check that off the list. I would fucking, I would Jeez. come there. Look at them. I'd get a bat and bash those fucking monkeys in their head. I'll teach them. Dude, think if you had kids. Is. I'll teach them who the fuck boss is. So far, I don't, I don't see how this guy has a terrible problem. But uh, oh, here they go. Oh, that's oh shit! One. Oh shit! Oh shit! And then they knock him down. And they they're biting him. That and their teeth would fucking hurt, dude. All right, let me let me grab you, you motherfucker. This makes me angry. Does it? Yep. I'll, I'll fucking kick you in the face, you dumb monkey motherfucker. I'll come right at you. <laughs> 386 monkey attacks for last year. All right, good. Dude, oh, wow. Planet oh, of the Apes several is people real, dude. Right. died as a result of the attack. Oh, shit. Well, so imagine if you have kids. Yeah, but I would fucking uh, I, I'd just get, get myself a, a 22 and shoot yeah, them I just in get the a, face. Dude, hey, B, I'm, dude, I'm telling you, there's a real coyote problem where I live, dude. At four in the morning, they get together, and it's like Lion King. They wow. shout at the top of their lungs. Oh, and last yeah. night they might have been killing someone's dog because I heard a very loud cry and that oh. went away. And then all the coyotes were going, yee, 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 yee. Yep. That's it. They'll kill those monkeys easily. Problem is that they uh yeah, their habitat is is fucked up. Ah, you know what else is a problem in, in India? You know what else comes in? Oh, oh. Hold on. tigers and cobras. Leopards. Tigers is a big problem in India. Uh, yeah, but not Most in this, not in not in so in Mumbai in the biggest city leopards. Come Is it leopards? They come Cause, in because I know they have a tiger problem too. Yeah, tigers and you know alligators are the real problem. Have you seen how many people die a year from alligators? No. <sighs> in Florida, you mean? I don't know why I was looking this up. No, all over the word, dude. Crocodiles, alligators, crocodiles. So real problem. Crocodiles don't fuck. Oh, dude, around. a real problem. Yeah. T type in fucking. Uh, Leopard attacks Indian villagers. Jesus yeah, Christ. I saw that. But uh, alligator attacks or crocodile attacks. Crocodiles. Alligators are bitches. Crocodiles are a big problem in Africa. Dude, they're a problem all over. And they, I mean, they're vicious, dude. With well, that two year old fell oh, in yeah, the tank, no, I'm didn't they? terrified of crocodiles. 2018? Sure, man. It's a real fucking problem. Worldwide. You're talking about thousands of attacks, dude. Thousands. Um, Oh, yeah. Look at this. Well, over 5,000 attacks, <clears throat> half of them are uh, murdered, dead. Hold on. Oh, really? Yeah, because they, they, they will kill you. Dude, Look it's a this. real problem. I didn't realize how it's bad really crocodiles are. 206. It's the saltwater croc, bro. 505. Look at that. So Africa. just last year Look alone, over 1,000 alligator crocodile attacks in America, dead. Egypt, the Nile, six. Down in the middle of Africa, 693. Scroll Enjoy over. Did, can you scroll over to America on, the, on that map, Chin? Saltwater crocodile. Because the rest of the world. 2,264. Did you know that was that big of a problem? I didn't know. I was watching, I forget, I was watching something like t fucking CNN or some shit. 419 fatal deaths last year from what? fucking cro That's hold fatal. On, from on. crocodiles, dude. Hold on, hold on. Where do I see that? In, in America? Yep, that's America right there. Wait. Well, then it, it, it goes down to Mexico down there. Really? Well, that'd be 180 Wait, go to the in 99, Florida alone. I don't think this map is working correctly. Which one you want to go to, 99? Yeah, where is that? That's Florida, dude. Look at all that. Those are crocodile incidents? Yep. Or yep. alligator? Yep. Uh, 2013. All attacks. Outcome non-fatal. Real problem, though, isn't it? Fuck yeah. I never thought they were that big of a deal. Now listen, if I'm anywhere in that side of the United States, you ain't seen me in any body of water, bro. Alligator. There's nothing. Hmm. I don't know if this is just for that 2018. It's just like all over the place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying though. The yeah. fucking problem. What else you got, Chin? 
Oh, there's that. Next one. Is this it? Yep. Okay. So Uber is now going to have a new um, system in place where you can go to Uber Comfort, which is going to be for their higher end cars where uh, you can put on quiet mode, whether you don't want to have a conversation with the driver, you're open to having conversation or you don't have a preference, as well as what temperature you're going to want the car to be, whether you want it cold or a little warmer, mm. uh, what whether you want music playing or not, as well as technology. whether... Yeah, they're putting a lot of really great things into Uber, like helping you with your luggage from the airport, little things like that. Or if you want a car that has uh, more leg room in the back for you, mm. for a bigger person. Yeah. See, my thing is, is I don't want help with my luggage. I'm not a, I'm not a chick. I don't want help with my luggage. Just open the back. Don't talk to me and put on music. Mm. That's my ideal Uber. Yeah. And it's get me there. The f Also, drop me off, not at... Uh, the passenger drop off dropped me off at arrivals. Also, drive a no little traffic. faster than the speed limit. Also, that's illegal now. That's why they don't do it. Some do it yeah. though. Mm. Also, I, drive the gangster a ones do. Faster than the speed <laughs> but also drive faster. drive faster. But also drive faster. Yeah, I like uh, fast driving. And don't be stupid. Yeah. What I else like you got? Fertility clinic. This oh. was so crazy. So, oh god. I know uh, they're suing. So what, what happened? happened here? This is amazing. So there's a couple from New York who yeah. couldn't get pregnant and they ended up going to this fertility clinic one of the best ones here in california and all over the country they ended up finding out that when she gave birth she gave birth to two beautiful boys that were not asian and the couple was asian both were asian <laughs> yes. and they're white kids uh they well, don't half specify white, half asian? they don't no they don't specify what the kids were but they were not asian both parents are asian they pay to have their embryos placed into the woman, but they accidentally put two embryos from two different people into her. Dude, so I'm telling you, I'm not to, even technically related. I went to so IVF. Crazy. I went to IVF and I made two deposits on my bust busting yeah, pot deposit. Busting, yeah. I busted in it. And when I left, I thought, I wonder if they keep that and use it with other people. Oh. We'd have no idea. Sorry, the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, of course they would, right? I'm healthy as fuck. So what happens yeah. to them? Well, right now they're suing because one, she carried Damn, the children to term. Dude. Two, she had to give the children back to the biological Fuck. parents. The biological parents also didn't know that this was going to happen. So now they both have ki have sons. And those sons nice are also... Gift. If you could, if <laughs> you were you looking for a child. child. We'll take this now. They are your child. Yeah. That's crazy. So now they're suing the clinic for emotional damages. Oh my, they're going to get millions. Everything. Yeah. And but now also, they're trying to figure out what happened with their embryos. Because they actually wanted to have girls. And originally when they, uh, I guess, extracted the embryos that they were going to use, they specifically chose just girls. But the wife heard something a little odd when they put the embryos inside her because they said these are both. They referred to the embryos as boys, and she just kind of shrugged it off. She didn't think too much of it. The day of, she ended up having two boys that were not Asian and Damn, were not that's hers. that's crazy. That'd be so heartbreaking. How? That's nine months. Of nine insanity. whole months. Dude, the IVF, too. Like, again, I looked into it with my girl because we are going to have twins before we made it happen naturally. Dick game's on point. Give it up. Yeah, brother. So, yeah, shout out to go kids. Shout out to two, two boys. Who wants kids? Hit me up. Natural so, Who wants a boy? I'll yeah. bust in your face. Yeah. Um, yeah, boys, so, boys, yeah, it's, boys. A, it's really expensive. B, the success rate ain't great on those IVFs. Really? It's very expensive every time you have to do it. Mm. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, my, my, buddy. Doctor, my doctor was such a tool, too. Oh, really? give me the GBs. Yeah, my he buddy. My buddy is doing this. Oh. Uh, he did. Uh, uh, my buddy Joey did. Not the uh, Kardashians. Him. Oh, my buddy did stem cells in his shoulder, shoulders, and he he'd been in pain for like f fifteen years. He goes, dude, it's two years now. It's been gone completely. Yeah, it really does work. Oh, hold on, give me a second. Yeah, no, 2016 with uh, stem cells. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, Brian just found out. Okay, I didn't yeah, know it was you. that good, though. No problem. Yeah, your friend Joe Rogan's been doing it for seven years. Yeah, but okay, I... Okay, thank you. But you know, I, every fighter and every athlete I know does it. But yeah, I didn't thank not, you. Click. But I didn't... No, now what they're doing, though, is there's a new procedure that's going to get, um, like, approved. They're taking the amniotic fluid from a woman's, like, second trimester or something. Those stem cells become yours if you get... 
They'll shoot you into your bloodstream and they can mutate into becoming yours and they become anything that you want them to be. So they, they, they will be whatever you need them to be, essentially. It's kind of crazy. So that there's this is the new well, stem cells real, frontier. Dude. Yeah. Let's go hair loss. Hair <laughs> loss, hair loss, hair loss, and You think they'd get on that. Old daddy is a little sore and I'm achy. I'm uh, pushing a little hard. With the boxing slash lifting, shoulders are given out. Are they given out? Little, they, just, they, they're, they're achy. Exhausted. They're achy. My my shoulders are achy. And you CBD oil, dude. Yeah, they're hurting. Inflammation, CBD oil. Yeah, I know a guy who owns a company. Maybe I should warm up better too. Don't do that enough. Yeah, or not, or you're no. fifty. You know, or it's I'm just 52. part of being fifty-two. Yeah, CBD oil would definitely help with that inflammation really? all day, all day. All right, I'll take it. I'll only charge you half. Uh, what <laughs> else we got? So there is a new trend of people doing bigger and better gender reveals. And there's one gender reveal that happened in Australia that went wrong. And it's the going viral. The gender reveal thing's always weird. My girl talked about doing a gender reveal with our new kiddo. It's like, right, what are we going to do, man? I you know, throw a... How does that work? The, the mom knows, but the father doesn't? No, so, so no one knows, but the doctor. So you, you can pay for it, right? It's like... Two hundred dollars more, yeah. and they do the blood, and then they go. Well, what do you want us to do with the results? And we said, send it to her brother Stephen. Oh, I got. And you. then he'll throw the surprise birthday party. Oh, cool! But all I mean, surprise gender reveal party. So but all we want mm -hmm. him just to. As we, he went. Well, should we wait till the weekend? Throw like a big reveal party. I went, no, fuck no. As soon as you find out, yeah. A, text me what it is, <laughs> and I'll pretend I'm surprised. B, come over with like a blue cupcake or yeah, or pink cupcake. That's what we did. You uh, you showed me the video of you finding out you, you know, that that your girl was pregnant. Doing what? First time. Oh, the first video. time. Yeah. yeah, dude, that was so long ago. That was a long. I time. got done doing doing UFC tonight, and my I kept, I go, I I kept getting girl. blown up by my girl. I'm like, what the fuck, man? And she's like, where you at? Where you at? I'm like, chill, bitch, chill. <laughs> and then I get back, and uh, she's like, well, I have news. Very strange, huh? And I go like this to him one time. I go, hey man, hey, listen, you guys are just dating. Don't be getting her pregnant. I know how you are. Don't be getting all like romantic and you get a burger. Just fucking, just take it easy. It's work to be done. And I just saw you go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's not listening to me. Something's going to happen fucking a month later. Thank God. Yeah. But what Thank else God is, right. how, about, how about when I, you know, she calls her, you know, she's Mexican as shit. She calls her family. They flip out. They're crying. I'm like, let me call mine now. Let me call mine. Hit my dad. My dad, my dad didn't know my girl at the time at all. <laughs> oh, so I go, dad, you're going to be a grandpa. You're going to be a grandpa. Huh? We got it. We got one on the way. And you just hear silence. It's on speaker. Silence. Silence. <sighs> well, you know, you don't have to go through with it. It's something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll call All you right. back. All, All right. right. No, thank you. All yeah, right. No, you sound, yeah, you sound thrilled. Yeah. I will call it. You know what? He actually, he said he knew, he knew you were listening. He's just fucking around. She started right. crying. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. He's just joking. No, he's funny like me. No, he's joking. He's always joking. All right, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> you never know how those things are going to go. I tell my mother. Now I, he's like the best I tell my mother ever. I'm getting married. Where I'm driving, I'm telling her I'm, I'm getting married and I'm looking for a ring. And it's like big news. Like your only son is getting married. She goes, well, be careful Ugh. because there are a lot of fake diamonds out there. And some of the diamonds are so fake, even oh, a jeweler can't God. tell. Them. I go, are you fucking Come kidding on. me? That you're worried about that? And that shit if heartbreaking. Oh, you know, Jay, Jay doesn't get up for anything. I go, you ready to be an uncle? I got a kid on the way. I just get a text back. Cool. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> That's great. Well, some families are just not that sentimental. Or, or sometimes they just don't know it. Like you're expecting it to be a bigger deal. Like when I, yeah. you know, growing up, Porsche, you to be Porsche was the car in my family. So I bought a Porsche for anyone else. I called my dad on the speaker and went, Papa! He's like, yeah. I'm like, your son just bought a 911 Carrera. And he goes, silent, silent. Did you get the, uh, did you get the turbo or is it the, uh, is it the S? Uh, no, just the base model 911. He goes, well, one day. <laughs> well, that's like my... All right, man. Yep. Have a good night. You click. I had a girlfriend who's, who had a father who fucked a lot of different women and, and 
once a year, all the all the brothers and sisters who came from different moms would get together. Was this guy awesome? And it was all like, yeah. <laughs> and if you see him, he was a stud. Yeah. He was, he, my girlfriend was such a stud back in the day. She was like, just like this, she was Mexican and Spanish. And, uh, and her father was a fucking Spanish conquistador, a Spanish matador, stud, barrel chested, muscular. And obviously women loved him. So, um, it, like one of the things that his his brother said is he could throw a fucking from his knees he was a catcher and could throw a ball like fucking to the outfield just really big and strong and just an alpha male so he's his all the kids would be there and i came for all the family reunion and there was one brother who was so desperate to have a family and uh, and he would try to make he, he would go guys he goes first time he did he goes toasting guys listen we don't see each other that much but we're a family we love you dad Dad, thank you for, for being here and stuff. His dad's like, all right. So he drinks the morning and all of a sudden he goes, he goes, all right, guys, man. It's so good to have you guys. Hey, let's do this. Let's do this again. Do it here. Goes, yeah, all right. John. So then <laughs> like, we're eating. And then like dessert comes around and he goes, guys, I just want to toast dad. And, and his, father, his father goes, hey, John, we get it, John. We get it that everything is all great around here. We don't need another toast, all right? We can, and he literally shut this fucking guy down. Guy's probably 35 now. And the guy, I remember, he just, he just went, ah, my dad. He, just so dad. he never got the love for his dad. Never got the love. I said to my girl, I go, How, what was he like as a dad? He goes, he'd show up once a year, and he'd be Shit, like, man. he'd have some presents, and be like, here that's you go. Crazy. And that's how we all grew up with him. That's and he crazy. just wanted a dad. That's fucking funny. hilarious. <laughs> so how did they, anyway, how'd they do the gender, <laughs> Here's the reveal, gender party? reveal? So they had special tires that would then produce this like blue or pink smoke. And they drove, they were hyped about it, putting it on social media. Oh. And the car exploded because of it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, they ended up uh, running in to grab the passenger and the driver. No one was hurt. The driver ended up being arrested for it because... He did this on just a regular street <laughs> Jeez, in Australia. That burned up Life is funny, man. Well, it's like, did you the the, the one cup couple did the gender reveal party that started all the forest fires? They show it here too. Mm -hmm. Did you what? see that one? No. Oh, gender yeah. reveal party and shot the thing went <laughs> fires, and that was one of the reasons we had oh, horrible fires. Come on. Or this how about? Yes. Look That's at this. Look how there fast that fire there you go. started. Arizona. Remember the horrible oh, fires in Arizona? It's it from a gender reveal party. Look at this. Oh, no. And that started like a motherfucker. Oh, my God. Look, 47,000 acres burned. $8 million in oh, damage. Jesus. Jesus. That kid's going to be like, Jesus Christ, dead. Oh, no. I'd name, oh, the, kid, I'd name the kid Phoenix. Um, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd name the kid Phoenix. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great name? Oh, my God. I'd name, you the, kid, do something. I'd name the kid Singe. Fuego. Phoenix is good though, especially yeah. they're from. Uh, I named Arizona. the kid Wildfire. Just be Phoenix, on the nose dude. About it. Spark. I named the kid Damage. Um, oh boy, just life, man. How about that couple? Again, they're crazy cars. You got to know what you're doing. It's a bummer, but it's life is funny. It happened years ago, so now it's funny. Couple got married. Everyone's out front celebrating. Oh, the grandpa bought him his dream car. It's a Viper. Oh, cool. Five hundred horsepower. Five hundred pounds of torque. Six speed, not really a car for a newbie. Gets in it. Yeah, wife. Yeah, who's gonna catch him? Yeah, <laughs> in the wall, both dead. <laughs> in the wall, both dead. <laughs> Isn't it terrible? <laughs> fucking spaz. You fucking spaz. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be the end of the story. I like know. I said the car was going to be damaged. No, they and both, they both died. fucking died. Both died. Fuck. Dude, your, your whole family oh, and friends are like, fuck, no. You, you went from happiest day of your life to just like, <laughs> what the fuck? To the end. Dude. At least you died. Like, Together, it was married. That, that, famous, uh, uh, that famous fucking story about the two brothers who carry their mother all the way to, like, for... 40 miles that to, to show their love for their mother to the temple so she can pray and then they got asked her what what do you want for your son you know for your two sons and she goes for my two sons never to suffer a day in their life and the sons took a nap and they never woke up from the nap oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. oh my god and that's well that's what you asked i don't know what sparked yeah. this it's so random <laughs> but uh when i was coming back from vacation 
we flew in on United, flew back on Delta. So I fucking parked my car at United, land in Delta. So you got to walk from Terminal 3 to Terminal 7. Well, I got Mama with me. I got my son Tiger with me. So I made them walk. But I'm holding all their luggage, and it's, I don't know, 100 degrees out. And we're walking. You know, my son's, you know, my, my girl's holding my son. And I'm holding him. We're taking turns. And then something, I don't know why. This is so random. I don't know why I'm telling the story. But I started thinking, I went, oh, this is how like the refugees feel when they come from Mexico <laughs> when they're like walking I think because I'm carrying all that's I'm, legit dude, no I'm talking my shoulder that's was burning so bad and, that's a three and I have plantar fasciitis and then I'm holding my son I got all the luggage and I'm sweating profusely that's what it's like I'm to walking. live every day for them I, and then I went I went you know what I probably got better shoes than them though because I was complaining and then I went into this mindset I'm like oh, I'm fucking refugee here we go that's true and my girl goes why are you so serious I want to be like I'm thinking about being a Mexican refugee right now crossing the border. That's why. But, and I hired a coyote to get us across the fucking But camp. do you know what, dude? Now, let me tell you that's something. That's what they call the let coyotes. Let me tell you something. That's Dudes called, that take that's called oh. empathizing. And yeah. also, one of the things is- my shoulders burn. I thought, think if a mom had to do Fucking, this. and they do. With and, all their shit. So my, my, so I, and then I started thinking, what would I get rid of in my bag? If I was them, what would I get rid of? What, what do I have in there that I wouldn't want to carry? Yeah. Crazy, and, and, and my, my wife went down to the border with a bunch of people to help the kids. This dude pushed his daughter who has multiple sclerosis for three months in a wheelchair and, uh, and was sleeping with her because they wouldn't separate them because they couldn't. And she was looking in his eyes and she was like, this is what this fucking dude did. And, and say whatever you want about the border and stuff. I don't, illegal immigration is a problem and we do need borders. Oh, but it's but, inhumane what we're doing to well, them. But, it's but, awful. But, and, and so what I'm saying is that when you, when you think about, one of the things about educating yourself about the world and about history, it makes you more compassionate. Oh, dude. It just does because you go, So you know what I'm I did? Lucky. You know what I did? I stopped right in my tracks, ordered an UberX and fucking got <laughs> an this. Uber an UberX service. service. That's right. I an called Uber a limo Black service and, and went, not today. I, and then went straight to my I car. I have a very wealthy friend who was in, uh, they, they fucked up their names and they were in this huge line in Miami, like this crazy, it was a. It was like, it was going to be a day wait and he's got more money and he goes, well, I'm going to spend $54,000 to get a private jet. jet. Oh, we have the same friend, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. And you know. Yeah, but it's not weird. That's what triggered, like, I was going, I'm like, you can't stop now. And I was sweating. I was thinking of being a Mexican immigrant. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I took my, my shoes off and started walking barefoot. And there you go. And that's legit. And the more you learn about history, the more, the more you learn about the world and how people have to live, like in Syria, wherever it might be, it does make you a lot more humane. It makes you more compassionate. Oh, I'm at Disneyland. I like to think I'm grateful. Chinese. Makes you more grateful. I'm at Disneyland. I think I'm Chinese. A lot of Chinese people there. No. No, it's just, you know, how they're like all compact, like sardines and like this. Yeah. So in I like groups. to picture myself as a in Chinese groups. man. Yeah, wherever I'm at, just to, I like to go different ethnics. Gotcha. Ethnicities. Gotcha. You're, you're a shapeshifter. I just like to put myself in their shoes, you know? Gotcha. Shapeshifter. Now, are you um, a, a closet racist? Or are you? Uh, <laughs> or, uh, I'm pretty out about it, you okay. know? Okay, okay. I'm going to have to what end else the we podcast got? with this behavior. <laughs> This right here. So Jaden Smith, this the is son so of so weird. You bring him up. Why? Why? My, my, keep going. All right. <laughs> okay. So he just turned twenty-one this past Sunday, and he has been getting into a lot of different philanthropic um, causes. He has a water company called Just Water. He's donated a couple of water filter uh, systems to Flint, Michigan. A shitload. A shit. Yeah. He's really helped Flint, Michigan. He's out. really, really helping out. It's the really cool. Yeah, for him, on Sunday for his birthday, he actually bought out a food truck, to called it uh, I the I Love You Restaurant, and he fed people on Skid Row um, fresh vegan meals. Good for him. He's, he's really a fascinating kid. He uh, A, he's a huge musician. Um, obviously, he's the son of Will Smith and Jaden Smith. But what his philanthropy work, like you're talking about, with the water and this stuff, it's pretty cool, man. He gets a lot of hate, but he's also huge. Like his spe his one song they came out with has been streamed over a hundred million times. Wow. Like he's a talented artist. He's you know he's into fashion. Like he's kind of doing his own thing, man. Good for him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's so weird you brought this up. Yesterday I went on this weird rabbit hole last night, like two in the morning on Jaden Smith. He's a good looking kid. I used to see him a lot. Of him and his one. daughter are super good look. I mean, his sister is super beautiful. good looking. His sister beautiful. But it, it's interesting with. Uh, it's just how damn good Will Smith is at social media. Like I went, you know, you can learn from these guys. I went to Will Smith's Instagram. I went to his YouTube page, and he's so good at it, man. He's so goddamn yep. good at it. Mm. 
I, I'm a fan of Jaden Smith, man. It was, you know, I got, I, cause I, oh, uh, Will Smith posted was, I can't believe Jaden's 21 and posted a video and I got kind of teary eyed cause of my son, he posted a video when Jaden was like two to 21 and he's like, Jaden's on his shoulders. It's so fucking cute, man. That's cute. It's so cute. Oh, it's that, it's, 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 it's the middle one that there he is. Uh-huh. Yep. Was he in, uh, he was in pursuit of happiness. Uh, Look, hey. there he is. That, oh, that's his first acting job, by the way. Never acted before. He was I'm awesome in it. Tell you, you, can't you know how he got that gig? They couldn't find the role, and he goes, Papa, I'll do it. All right. All right. You got a dream. You got to protect it. I want to see his movie. You it's never great. seen that? Pursue Happiness? Phenomenal. It will bring you to tears. Yeah. You've never seen it? No. It's a true uh, story, too. You gotta live, bro. I know Dude. I do. I'm an asshole. Because <laughs> he's cool. That movie will make you cry, especially if you have kids. That will Smith is scene. so... Oh, dude. Don't give me... He's so I'm going to watch that tonight. Oh, I got so fucking good. stand up tonight. <laughs> I'm going to watch it tomorrow and start crying. He's so good, right? That's a, Go back, uh, Chin. Mm-hmm. My kid is so cute. How cute oh, dude. He's so... He keep scrolling down. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe scroll up. There was a uh, montage. Yeah, it was like a whole video of him of his son, and it was so cool. What if it's this? He's such a good guy. Probably is. Yeah, that's right. That's what it is. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at this. Like that's Tiger right now. Fearless. I just felt like, you know, two artists would create a little artist. I'm really uh, surprised and proud and terrified of how he's what happened to his face? The world. <laughs> Makeup. Dude, he sells a shitload of tickets, too. And the oh. boy can dance, dance. Oh, shit. It's him and his dad, first time they perform together. It's so cool, man. He can dance, huh? God, life goes fast, man. Look how cute that kid is. He's so cute. Isn't that cool, though? I bet. Yeah. By the way, uh, Jaden, uh, his wife, Jada Pickett Smith. Yeah, Jada Pinkett. She doesn't look like she takes any shit either. <laughs> she can probably run. She's super she runs hot. the house with her. She's Nine killing months. it too with her new show. Yeah. Yeah, the Red Table. Red yeah. Table. You know talk. they shoot that from Will's house. Okay, can really? I see the daughter? The daughter's beautiful <laughs> yeah. too. Willow. Willow. Yeah. Yes. She's beautiful gorgeous. Girl. How old is she? Uh, I want to say like nineteen. She's good, 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 gorgeous. She's, look at look at her, the art she draws. Oh, yeah. she's, she's super gorgeous. She's she dressed super emo. Christ Almighty! But if she wanted oh, to, she'd shut right the game there? down. Yeah. Oh, she could gorgeous. shut it all down. Oh, oh she. she shut if it all she was down. like, oh, you want to put on a dress? Oh, yeah. she, Let's she, do it. She yeah. could shut it all down. She yeah, could have yeah. been such a yeah, huge no. pop star too. Because she had one hit when she was younger, and then she said she didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, they don't want to. Well. Well, I mean, Jaden's doing the damn thing. Yeah, his Jayden's music's huge. It. His fashion's huge. You know, he was. You know what's? Oh, good lord! She's, How old is she before I get into that? Hot. Hey, but you know, yeah, she's ridiculous. like nineteen, eighteen. All right, we're good. Something like that. Um, but you know, uh, what's crazy about Jaden is, you know, he was. Oh, she's eighteen. Oh, well, that's legal. Um, <laughs> with I don't want to sound too <laughs> creepy, really young, yeah. but with Jaden, um, you know, he was the the model for the uh, Louis Vuitton female. Oh. oh yeah like he modeled was, the female yeah. I like clothes. it yeah i think he's considered pansexual whatever the case i like it all don't define me motherfuckers what else you got jim uh, let's go with this malik mcdowell he used to play for the seattle seahawks uh this is a cop i guess he was just driving down the street it was a snowy day and then he spun out of control so the cop wanted to pull him over and I guess test him, and he was just being like, you know, get away, get away from me! I want your supervisor. He says supervisor a million times. The 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 NFL player. Does? Yeah, yeah. It's a very long video, so I'll just show you parts of it. So this is when the the oh, cop actually yeah. pulled him over. Two sixteen ten five. That means a supervisor. He said supervisor. So he was drunk because he wanted two times. He was over two times the legal limit. Oh, so he was drunk. Yes, he was drunk. Yeah. So it's speeding. You just spun out. Right you spun out. Oh, I, I just saw you. So I'll just show you the parts that are interesting here. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> oh, so that's him resisting. Yeah, the store. he's just going. God, that guy's huge. Look at that poor little he's cop. He's enormous. The cop's, to, the cop's trying to trip him. 
You're going to get tanked. Good luck tasing this giant man. Yeah, and check this out. He's lucky he didn't shoot him. Get down! On the ground! On the fucking ground! Get down! Is he tasing him right now? Not yet, you'll see. On your stomach! He'll do a countdown. On your fucking stomach! You're gonna get tased! You're fixing to get tased! You're fixing to get tased! To the cop's defense, he's warned him several times. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Is there any way you could just have wait till the cops, his friends come? So he's tasing him now. And check this out. He doesn't care, dude. <laughs> he's lucky he didn't shoot him, there, man. Look at the size of that he's guy. He's enormous, dude. Yeah. He's so lucky this cop didn't shoot him. Exactly. I know he is. I know he is. But he's not like a hitting the cop. He's just like, get away from me. Get that away taser from me. Taser didn't, yeah, do do didn't, didn't do a damn thing. For big guys, tasers ain't gonna do it. What the me. fuck? And Holy then, shit, that just got him mad. And then check out the backup that arrives. I'm sure... Are they tiny too? Oh, is it... Is it that I would be so bummed out. Yeah, if he wanted to do anything he wanted, he could do anything. He's, yeah. He's smart enough not to be fighting. Well, no, I would have let him just sit there. Well, they have guns. I would have uh, let him sit there. Yeah. Like, you have to escalate it. it. Just let him sit there. Just let him sit there. Be let cool. But he's done this before too. He's been like super like against Dude, he's cops. he's so lucky he didn't get shot though. Yes, he's I very, very lucky. I, I, it, I, I so he's a free I agent. Have, I would have said, bro, come on, please. Don't six, 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 300, 300 pounds. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And, and insanely athletic. Dude. Only 23. That, he's 23. He looked at that taser and went, went and just that pulled is it off. Up what eye, the fucker. fuck? He poked the bear. <laughs> what the you, you fuck? You know what's interesting? If those cops didn't have guns, they could not stop him. Dude. Seven yeah. of them couldn't stop him. No, they couldn't. No. But, bro, they have to have that's guns. nuts that that fucking taser did shit all fuck all to him. He got up. <laughs> it was a uh, real taser too, not the one that you just put on. No, I'm, I'm kind of yeah. blown away, but the, maybe it didn't go on his skin. It might have just hit his clothing. I think this guy is just no, ridiculously those go strong. Clothing. Yeah, they, they can't. You can't be. It's just not bare skin. They shoot through anything. Those things go. <laughs> wow. Hmm. What a badass. Have you, have, you seen, have you ever seen when they <laughs> taser? Have you ball. seen when they taser cops? Right, they do it to cops so they know what they're doing. And you seen the guy when they they shake and he shits his pants? No, that's they gross. He's like. <laughs> Oh, and he goes, that's terrible. They stop, he, goes uh, he starts laughing. Everyone's laughing. He goes, I just shit my pants. <laughs> they tell you not to eat before, like the night before. before you do it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to eat. This guy peed and shit his pants. Yeah, I can see In that. front of his buddies. Oh, boy. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> And then they stop shooting and he starts laughing. Dude, he goes, this, this, he goes I, I shit I'm my so pants. I'm so blown away. That guy just went, he looked down and he went, get this shit off me and came at him. Different How frightening is that? You could have gotten shot though. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. You can't not, do yeah, that. Yeah, that was scary. You what can't do that. that. That's He's done it before too. He resisted job. before. That's the kind of shit cops deal with all the time. Fuck. Thank God that cop didn't have a huge ego. I would have been. Shooting. Yeah, thank God for that cop. Shout out to that cop for not having a yeah, huge shout ego. Shout to that cops tiny, that shot tiny, him tiny right white cop. Yeah. Well, I, I would have been with a guy like that. I would have been He's like, I'm going to do it, bro. I'm like, all right, sit there. Just calm down, please. Just don't make my job difficult. I'm like, dude, a, a shitload of people are coming. You obviously go. You know you're getting arrested, right? All right. Come just on. Chill man, there. I'll be, we'll get you out of there. Yeah. All right. What else? Next one. All right. ASAP Rocky, very, very famous rapper. He was in Sweden. And then. The first video came out. It looks like him and his crew were beating up these two guys. All right. So I'll show you a little bit of this first. I'm an ASAP Rocky fan. Yeah. He does everything, right? Modeling also a model stuff for too. Dior, I think. So you'll see right around here. They're beating up these guys, right? And yeah. this is actually ASAP Rocky tossing this dude. Damn, he tossed the fuck out yeah. of him. Ooh. And then he's punching him there. This is in Sweden? Yeah. Yeah, but what were those guys doing? Yeah. So they. ASAP's team released their own video of what how this even started mm -hmm. and it's these guys constantly berating them like just following them and just annoying them like calling them the n-word or what? no they just it seems like he's just on drugs or something turn it up oh they said we don't want any problems yeah. and you guys just keep following them just keep following them and then they actually this dude the one that's the closest he throws his headphones at the bodyguard That's why the like real famous people have to have bodyguards. Is. This, oh wow. So this guy's trying to hit the bodyguard. Throws his headphones at him. See that? Fuck that dummy up. What a piece of shit. He's again, he's like that bodyguard's cool. What's yeah. that little dude think is gonna happen? Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. You know? Go this way. Listen, listen, listen. 
We don't want to fight y'all. We're not trying to go to jail. So he's trying to de escalate the situation. Is that ASAP Rocky? Yes, ASAP. Oh, wow. You hit him with it. I want my headphones. You hit him with it. He goes, You hit him with your headphones. Go down the street. Go down the street. Go down the street. Go down the street. Let's fuck it, bro. These guys are Turkish. And these guys are fans of ASAP. I don't know. They're not Swedish. These guys are immigrants. No, the other. Yeah, they're immigrants. They're, so, they're from somewhere in the Middle East, I think. I don't know what's going on or why they're this way. but this And is they just won't leave the body. They won't leave alone. them alone. And then some other witnesses come by that speak their language. And tell them well, to chill out. Yeah, the tell language. them. Let me hear the language. Just for the cameras, we don't want no problems with these boys. They keep following us. Look at them. They keep following So they're following the bodyguard right now. Weird dudes, man. People are fucking weird. And then he walks back, and the guys still come at him again. So these are the women, or the ones that translate for them? It's always weird when the bodyguards out of shape. See? Just cut him on his head. Those girls are Somali, I think. You tell? These guys are talking well, shit. They're the ones that threw the uh, headphones. What do you think that is, B? Tell them to stop following. Yeah, these I would guys fuck are so those annoying. guys up. Right? You punch them right Brian, in the fucking can't, face. You, you, even you can't. I can't. You can't do that, dude. Yes, I can. No, you can't do it. You'd be sued up the yin yang. That's why you pay bodyguards. So ASAP Rocky shouldn't have got involved. It'd be tough not to, though. It'd be tough not to just to fucking punch him really hard in the stomach. Especially in international territory. So that last guy, there's another witness. He goes, that those guys, one of them slapped my ass and my girlfriend's ass last time. So they're troublemakers for sure, right? And now, because of this, pieces of shit. ASAP Rocky's in jail. What? And they held, they held, like, they're going to hold him for two weeks. They're supposed to only hold for three days max, but they're holding for two weeks. That is so frustrating. And it's apparently... They said there's rumors that it's a really, really crappy situation there, but his lawyer saying it's not that bad, but still, he's held there. That's so And part of his team's held there, too. Sweden is, if you want to get put in jail, Sweden. Damn, that's but, so jacked up. But he's in jail with a lot of people from, not from Sweden. Though. Yes. So Sweden so has, so, up, so Sweden took in a lot of uh, immigrants from the Middle East. ASAP Rock is uh, up I, east, I'm, He tried his best I'm to not, not do anything, and he's in jail. And not the other guy. The guy's not in jail. Well, did you see the guy fucking with Ben Askren? No. You didn't see the drunk fan fucking with Ben Askren before his fight? No. Trying to, trying to, he started like, oh, fuck. That's kind of stuff. Let's end on this one. That's kind of stuff. It's so exhausting. This shit makes me want to take those dudes and oh, stop their see this? heads. Wait till you see this. Fucking... Look at this guy. Look at this, dude. <laughs> exhausting, exhausting, exhausting. How ridiculous is He just wants to poke a bear and see what it's like. One quick last thing. Imagine being... Uh, <laughs> just look at that. Oh, dude. Have is seen that, that from bug? the move? What is that? Is that it's Calvin? If you know the Calvin? movie, you know what I'm talking about? The movie... Uh, the, uh, uh, it's a scary. horrible name. It's a terrible name. It How had Jake Gyllenhaal that in it. Yes, that thing's it's so scary. Good. It's a moth with tentacles and Ew. hair on the tentacles. Ew. It retracts like that, too. This from Barstool. God, that's but what is scary. it, dude? It's something called Genghis moth. Does it bite? I don't think it hurts people. I don't like it. Dude, dude you know, I don't kill any animals. I don't let my son kill animals. Like I kill ants that, or anything. I, kill <laughs> I know, this is creepy. But dude, a fucking centipede. Like one of those big... Kill centipedes. I had to kill them. They should all die. I know, I had to kill them. You kill a centipede. I had to step on them. And my son goes, All Papa, centipedes. why? Because we don't kill animals. He goes, Papa, why? Fuck that. That thing will sting you. And I just can't. I use it. my bug assault to slaughter flies. And oh, bug assault God, came out with another annoying. fucking one that kills big bugs. Oh, really? You shoots, shoot? shoots salt hard. I mean, fucking hard. Dude, isn't salt And you hear slugs? this? Shook, shook. You hear shook, shook in my house. A fly is going to fucking die. I want flies. Why do you have in flies house. in your I don't have flies in my house. Why are <laughs> windows open? Because I worship the devil. That makes sense. 
Uh, speaking of worshiping the devil, I'm in Cincinnati this Friday and Saturday. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Funny Bone, Summer Vibe, come on out, Cincy. I'll be in my Pete Rose red jersey with the sleeves yeah. cut off. Dick hanging out the front. Cincinnati, Funny Bone, Friday, Saturday with Derek and Hassan. Yeah. And then next weekend, I'm in Indy at the Helium in Indianapolis. And then Nashville, Zanies, August 1st through the 3rd. Those tickets are almost sold out. And then also almost sold out Portland, August 15th to the 17th. So get your tickets right now, tfatk.com, Cincy, see you this weekend. B, you're going to one of my favorite spots, Spokane. 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 Tomorrow, the 11th. Friday, the 12th. Saturday, the 13th. So there we go. Dude, you I'm sound there. stoked. That's and right. then you're at the Cobbs. I'm excited. Then I got Cobbs. I caught the Cobbs. Oh, yeah. July 19th and 20th. I'm very excited about One of the best clubs stuff. in the world. I've been that back in a long time besides when I, I did that That's right. set. But I got a whole new set for you guys. I'm excited for you, man. All new material. 100% new material. Go see Sam Fran. Go see Brian and Sam Fran. Yeehaw. Go see Miss Spokane. Since you see you this weekend. TFATK.com for tickets. This is the Fighter and the Kid. We're out.